zucchini. It's the butt of a lot of gardener jokes. Um, everybody always teases about having so much zucchini that they leave it on their neighbor's porch and hide out trying to give it to people and nobody wants the zucchini because there's too much of it. I wish we had the problem. In our area for years, we have been fighting desperately to get a little bit of zucchini. And we have decided to start a new method to try to see if it's helping or works. And the main problem we have is with a pest. And the pest is called a squash vine borer. Squash vine borer is a very difficult pest to handle because it has a very interesting life cycle. It is an underground larvae that pupates in the earth and when it comes up it hatches into a clear winged moth. It's a kind of a larger moth. I'll try to show you an example of it. The moth then flies, mates, and lays its eggs, and the eggs are tiny little dots, and they're like on the very base of the stem of a zucchini plant, so they're hard to find, they're hard to locate. And as soon as they hatch, the larva bur burrows into the interior of the squash plant and it sucks the sap out of the squash plant and it causes the plant to die. And as soon as the larvae get a little bit larger and the plant basically has wilted down, the larvae come out and they go immediately into the ground to pupate and start over again. Now, the problem is you can't hardly spray for them. Um, chemicals do not seem to work because the, the larvae is either protected inside of the inside of the plant, under the ground, or the eggs are so hard to see it's almost impossible to get them off. So you have a, a very chronic problem and modern chemicals and sprays really don't do much about it. Now I'm growing a container grown uh, zucchini right here. And we're trying our best this year to get some zucchini. Um, we're trying a few new items of strategy. First one is we didn't plant our zucchini until after the 1st of July. 
That is because the primary breeding season for the, the um, squash vine borer moth is early in the season. So spring planted plants almost instantly get destroyed around here. Um, I'm going to show you some of the damage that they cause and then you can see what I mean. Now this is the vine that I pulled out of the plant. It has the squash vine borer damage. I don't know if you can see that but it starts traveling to make sure it's focusing here it starts traveling up through the plant and there is a little larva worm and I'll show you better pictures of it but basically it goes up the hollow core of that plant and it here here's one right now can you see the little worm see if you can come out here try to break it open a little bit better can you see these larva there they are. They're working up inside of that. Now, once the plant gets torn like this, it's just, there's no saving it. I mean, I've tried. They say you can cut into the plant and you can do all kinds of things to, you know, get rid of these worms. But really, you cut into the plant, it's already got damage. It's just destroyed. So the best thing that you can do at this point is you pull it out. You need to try to destroy these little beggars with your nice juicy thumb squeeze and get them gone just as soon as possible. Now, basically, this plant was blooming, ready to produce, and now it's gone. And that's, I just wasted just the whole seed, the season, the time. And around our area, we can plant and plant and kill and plant and we just don't get squash. It's just all there is to it. Um, some types of squash are more susceptible to the boar. Um, Hubbard squash, zucchini, soft-bodied squash, summer squash like that, they seem to be the favorites. Um, but that's just a waste, you know. Um, hard squash, like butternut, are supposed to be more resistant because they've got a real tough stem and it's harder for the larva to go through them and get them. But guess what? We've had problems with butternuts in this area too. Um, we've tried lots of different things. Like I said, I've tried to split them open. I've tried to put foil around the base so that the bugs don't lay their eggs. I've tried to put Vaseline on the squash bottoms to keep the squash from laying their eggs. Um, we've tried, like I said, this year we're doing it again, trying to plant after July the 1st. And you know, all these things, we've just failed. Zucchini, time after time after time. I beg people for extra zucchini. I love the baseball bat ones that nobody wants because I cut them up, put them in the deep freeze, and that's our zucchini for the year. Or I split them in the middle and scoop out the seeds and we fill them full of, um, you know, meat and cheese and vegetables and rice, like a stuffed pepper, and bake them and they turn out great. I love zucchini. Why can't I grow any? It's very, very depressing. Um, so I'm going to show you the new, one of the new little tricks we're trying around the homestead. This is a squash vine borer pheromone trap. Um, I will put links in the description as to where I bought this. It seems to be working. This is our first year to attempt it. We didn't put it out until late in the season. So, um, like I said, I don't know if we get a little more proactive. Next spring, we're planning on putting it out soon as first frost, trapping as many of these adults as possible, and then, like I said, continuing this, this trap out all season and seeing if we can just kind of reduce some of the population. Um, the trap works like this. Inside of the top of this, there's a little rubber piece. I hope you can get a good look at it. This is, I have seen turn towards the sunlight. This contains the pheromones or the hormones that simulate the breeding, um, lar or breeding moth. And it clips down into the container like that. I had never heard of these things before, but catching the adults before they lay their eggs is really about the only method you've got. Um, I'm going to show you the inside of it if you can see it. I try to get a good picture of it here. I'm not a very good camera person sometimes. But there's how the pheromone sits in there. And then of course you've got your basic funnel trap. 
and inside the funnel trap you have water and it says that you can put they give you an insecticide strip but I don't want to use insecticides as much as possible so I am using a homemade Castile soap chip basically just a little chunk in the water to um, let the insects die so they don't come out and I'm going to try to open this up so that's what we're catching so far and the moth in question that we are after is as you see we're catching several different kinds of insects but this right there is the adult moth after it's been trapped captured and it's gone into the soap water solution and died um, here's another one this is a newer one easier to see because it's not as decomposed but you can see they almost look like a wasp they're pretty large little guys and the so far the trap is working it's catching them um, I've also caught June bugs and I've also caught I noticed down in there before I haven't seen any right today in the mess because they're like I said they're they're starting to decompose in that soapy water solution which is fine with me but um, also caught some Japanese beetles in the same trap so it's been a win-win-win as far as I'm concerned it's all baited back up and ready to go um, the Jap these traps are supposed to call in pests for miles now the thing I'm hoping is that if I do it this season I may get a few zucchini not hoping for a lot one or two would make me thrilled I'm gonna put it out like I said as soon as the spring frost is over when normal people would be planting their plants I'm gonna put this out and I'm gonna leave it out I'm gonna you have to change the little pheromone lure twice or three times in the season um, I believe they're like five dollars a piece but if I ever get some zucchini and get this problem like cut back a little bit it would be well worth it in my, my, my notion um, so I'm gonna try to get as many of these eliminated as possible like I said the adult stage is about the only time you can eliminate them and I just have it planted right here got a young peach tree and planted in that area so that's where it's at for now Okay, here, here we are another one of my little containers, and we have some squash planted in here. And I'm gonna try to take you with me to look down in here and see what we can see. Um, so far, these plants are looking good, and I do not yet see any of the signs that these plants have been affected. So. and look at this one um, it's been like 100 degrees every day so it's very very hot the plants are starting to do a little wilting on their own but like I said so far so good I have like four plants in here I am really hoping that we get just a little bit of squash so.